We now won the custodian challenge. Like, what the hell? What? What? Just rest. And that's what he did, because I'm resting this week. Peace of mind, one kilos. Like, what? Chilling. Coming to, I wonder, I'm moon taller than coming. Church or church. Don't be church or church. Show walking. There's walking here. We back up our fights. We are here to stay. So, Big Brother changed how this housemate come into the diary section. But from today, Big Brother has been calling them individual. Instead of calling the pair, he calls them by their name. And guys, I am liking this new development because now this housemate will have the opportunity to air their opinion, to talk their mind without the presence of their partner. And they have been spelling, guys. They have been spelling. I'm talking about Mayor Forge. I'm talking about Toby. I'm talking about what X and D, Nelly. And then Anita, these are the four housemates that have come to their diary room so come and have their diary section so far. And in today's video, I'm just gonna be generalizing everything that they said during their diary section and summarize everything and also share my own thought about everything that is happening. But before we do that, I want to welcome you to today's video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. And if you like what I'm doing, just Drop us a like and your comment down below in the comment section. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. You are the reason why I do what I do. So, let's talk about why we are here, guys. The diary session that this housemate had. First of all, in the diary session, I think it was Ruti that was called... Uh, sorry, I think it was uh, Nelly that was called first into her diary room. And Nelly spoke and spoke and talked about uh, the buzz balls between him and Suj and how they've tabled everything up. And I, I kind of noticed that since yesterday, there is this weird energy that they've been giving each other. Though they are always together talking for... Throughout yesterday, it was Nelly and uh, Suj talking throughout yesterday. Everywhere they go, in the kitchen, they are talking. Uh, in the closet area, they are talking. Inside the room, they are talking. And today, Nelly shared the... Nelly told us what they've been talking about. And it's all, it all stems from the whole... Nelly and uh, Anita choosing the checkers to share the head of house room with and uh, to Suj he kind of uh, Suj kind of felt bad and felt like Nelly betrayed him Nelly betrayed him but on Nelly's part Nelly was like since I came into this house since I started bonding with the checkers I've made it known to everybody in this house that if I ever have to win the head of house if I'm ever the head of house I'm going to choose checkers to be my roommate and uh, it, like for her, for Sush to be feeling bad, it made her feel bad. But at the end of the day, they've uh, made out and everything is good. She also gushed about her partner when Big Brother asked her to talk about her partner, what she feels like being with her partner inside this house. And she talked a lot of things and also gushing about how uh, Anita is there for her, how Anita has been her friend for years, all sort of that, and how they are growing their bond. And uh, the next housemate that came into the diary room was... Uh, mayor and guys it was during mayor's turn that i noticed that mayor might be having second thought yes mayor might be in fact mayor is having second thought not might be mayor is having second thought guys because tell me why mayor is always with rooting but according to big brother he's he had a he, he he's wondering his eyes is wondering because guys we know when this housemate came into the house for the first time it was mayor and nelly and then from mayor to root Mayor, how, mayor has been going zigzag, zigzag in that house. And today he shared his thought, he shared all the bottle, the emotion that he's been bottling about uh, what happened, how he has uh, kind of ruined or messed up his chance to be with uh, Nelly. And it was another session that he made Big Brother know that he still has feelings for Nelly. And I'm like, then what are you waiting for? But guys, tell me the honest truth. Do you think with what the uh, mayor said in the diary section how about his him having still having feelings for nelly do you think that with suj now there because suj, suj is always here like this with Nelly? do you think that suj is going to give him another chance to shoot his shot because I, I don't think suj is that kind of person that will be like okay i trust my girl too much go shoot your shot no so he's not gonna give the uh, mayor any chance or any opportunity to shoot his uh, his shot. But I can't wait to see how this unravel. Cause when he was talking, he asked his brother to give him uh, advice on what to do if he should keep on pursuing things with Ruti or follow his heart and uh, focus on Nelly because Nelly is who he loves. 
And big brother was like, you, uh, you, you, you are the man, you know what your heart wants, so follow your heart. The next housemate that came in was Wani of the Wani X Handy. But guys, before we talk about what Wani said during her diary session, I want to first of all come, uh, say something about the trending video that I've, that I've been seeing trending around the internet and a lot of people. And people have a lot of things to say. I'm talking about the whole sescapade between the Zingwe pair, which is Zion and Shingwe. And a lot of people had uh, a lot of things to say. So here's just what I have to say. At the end of the day, they're in that house. They came in as couples. So whatever they do, with their time as couple should be left for them to do as couple with all the housemates coming in and uh, getting a front row seat and being a cock getting a front row seat enjoying other people having their quiet time really? I, i'm like what the fuck are you are you guys what the fuck these are couple having their quiet time let them have their quiet time in peace and uh, you can see guys it's all the frustration Oh, the first, you can see the Shinwe. Shinwe has been frustrated throughout that. So she need to let some oxymozone or something. I forgot it. She need to oxytocin. She need to let it out of her body. She need to let some stress out of her body. So for Zion to distress her and it, it, it shows that Zion cares about his babe. And you can see, guys, since that sex carpet happened, you can see that Shinwe has been calm. She has had her dose of uh, Zion and she's been calm. So kudos to Zion for knowing what her girl wants and giving it to her on them food. Because guys, the sound that I was hearing while I was watching that video, I'm like, yo, do, do they know that they have their mic on? Do they even know that they have their mic on? Yes, we can see them, but the sound that I was hearing, <sighs> it gave me chills, guys. But uh, moving on to what uh, Wani said during her diary session because guys, it seems like Wani has been bottling up a lot, a lot of emotion talking about what happened on Sunday, the fight that she and her sister had with Ruti and then them imagine the custodian winner. So when Big Brother called her in, she was like, finally, I am here. Big Brother, let's talk. And guys, you know, I've said this thing in my video before. With Wani X and D, they, I think, they know how to play the diary room because most people when they come into the diary room they don't have the knowledge of how powerful the diary room is because the diary room is where we the viewers see you as you we see you we see you in your vulnerable stage we see you be you so all the acting you do inside the house you are acting but once you come into the diary room that is you the camera and the whole audience and big brother so that is where they share their innermost thoughts. So they when the X handy pair, they know how to play uh, the room. So when she came in, she was like, Yes, big brother, let's talk. And then guys, she started blabbing about the whole fight that happened and uh, how she's happy to be the custodian winner, and uh, how she had the feeling that she was going to win the custodian challenge. That on, on that Sunday before the life eviction show, that when she woke up, she woke up very happy. She woke up with a positive energy, and it was unlike before that. She's kind of she's a positive somebody. She's somebody that likes to have fun. And but that Sunday, the kind of positive energy she she had when she woke up, it kind of made her sure that okay, something good is coming is coming my way. And uh, at the end of the day, they let her won the custodian challenge. And what she said during the custodian, uh, uh, when she was uh, rambling all those things, is that the, the custodian challenge that they won came at the exact time that she needed that stress to go away, that she needed to calm herself down and still remember and still remind herself that she's still the girl that she is. So for them to win that custodian challenge, it kind of solidified everything that they've been thinking about themselves. So after that, Big Brother asked her, okay, tell us about this whole thing. Uh, if you were the custodian challenge last week, you saw what the uh, streets guy did when they evicted uh, the one uh, when they evicted the Indian Nepal. If you were in their shoes, who would you have evicted? And guys, it was as if she has been waiting for that question. Maybe my brother asked her that question. She was like, Biggie, you don't even know. If I was in their shoes, if it was me, with the fight that I had with Ruthie, with what Ruthie said during the life eviction show, she would have been straight. She would, do, she would have been my target. I would have targeted her and I would make sure that she leaves the house. And she, she shed more light about the fight 
that they had with Ruti, what caused the fight. I made a video about it and I explained everything that caused the fight. So I won't uh, go back and explain everything she said inside the diary room. So go watch the video so you get the details of everything that caused the fight between one ex and D and Ruti. The next question people I asked her was how she felt about her sister being her, her partner and playing this game. And guys, she gushed and gushed and gushed. And I'm like, you see, there is this bond between brothers and brothers. There is this bond between brothers and sisters. But you see that bond between twins, it can never be broken. And Wani today during her diary session showed us that nothing can break that bond. She talked about how at the first week when she was uh, doing all those things that she was doing with uh, Sean, that Wani kind of felt left alone. But at the end of the day, they talked, they cried, and they hugged it out. And one thing they have uh, promised each other that yes, they are twins and they will always be doing everything together. But at some point, they have to be mature enough to know that they will go their separate ways. But all, the, all that is left to know for them is that their bond as twins will never be broken. And she talked about how Handy is her comforter, how Handy is the one that is more calm, how she's the bump, and Wani and uh, Handy is the one that calms her down. She like the adjective that that she used to adjective uh, her sister. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. And guys, just let me know. Let me know. What do you think about the relationship between Wani X and Because according to her, they are the strongest pair in the house. And I can't deny that. I can't deny that. I think I'm going to side with her that they are the strongest pair in the house. And guys, with that, I want to be ending this uh, video here. And I would, like to, I would like you to share your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think so far about their diary session? About uh, Mayor saying that he's still in love with, uh, with uh, Nelly. And also uh, the fight between Ruti and the one ex and the pair that they have shared more light. And what do you think about this whole thing going on in the Big Brand Niger house? I'll see you guys on the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.